I'm AJ, I work for WGI Shoe Department, I'm the field manager. I'm here to introduce Truck 86, our newest addition to our Backmaster fleet. And it comes with a 250 horsepower diesel Cummins engine, which is a great addition to what we've currently got. Uh, we've had a lot of work with Ramvac to get this truck uh, ready for us and work in our needs. And they've done a lot of customization, which I'm willing to show you guys right now. First thing we noticed when we went and looked at this truck was it comes with a 40 gallon standard fuel tank, which definitely wasn't gonna meet our long hour needs. Uh, so we had them install a second 40 gallon fuel tank, which was a lot of production issues with trying to retrofit another tank. They were able to get it done for us in a reasonable amount of time. Um, it's, it's a great addition. We can run this thing 12 hours a day without any fuel issues and get to and from each project as we go. A couple things different on these trucks compared to what we're usually running. Our filter systems are now lower, so we no longer have to climb on top of these big trucks to, to clean our filters. It's two easy switches, less fatigue on the guys, and a lot safer for us to uh, maintenance these vehicles. So that's a great addition. Right here we've got roll-up doors, 2,500 PSI water, so we can hydro-excavate as well as air-excavate. We can drop these down to 500 to clean these vehicles one at a time. Our pumps are here. Our heat exchanger for colder weather to keep our water cool and stop from freezing. We opted with a 100 gallon water tank instead of a 250 to keep us under our weight limits. So this should meet our needs perfectly. Over in this area of the truck, we've got our tool storage. We designed it with five tubes that go from all the way across the body. We can put all our air lances, everything we need in these boxes, and there's plenty of room for more stuff if needed. They were very helpful on helping us design this truck to make it fit our needs with all the options that I wanted to put into it. No issues were arise whatsoever. Production pretty much met exactly what it needed to meet. These are cyclone filters. They keep the fine particle dust from our main filter, causing us to not have to access these filters as often as we do on our other rigs. It's um, just another great option that they gave us. This wasn't my idea, this is something that comes standard, but it's one of the major sales of this product. This here is our two hoses. Ramvac likes to call this uh, the AJ upgrade. They offer this option to all their other uh, companies that they supply this vehicle to. We opted to go with two air hose on the back, one at a 90 PSI, one at 150 PSI. We had them install two regulators so I can adjust air pressure to each hose individually as I need it. This does a couple things for us. It keeps every guy on the crew working at all times, whether we're digging, air lancing, tamping, or whatever it may be. We can do everything we need with this set of hoses with all the adjustment capabilities. The air compressor is upgraded to better fit to where we can run full throttle and not lose any air pressure no matter what pressures we're running through our hoses. This was a lot of work on their part and they were able to come through with it perfectly and we're just going to be way more efficient using this compared to a standard one air lance hose truck. Excellent. Over here we got our control panel, it has our hydraulic levers, has our main control distribution panels, a lot of bells and whistles going on in here, a lot of gauges to monitor. All this is controlled by a single remote when we choose to do the remote. It makes us work directly from the back of the truck. We can keep an eye on all the heavy equipment running back there to keep our guys in a more safe work environment at all times. And it's going to take some training, which we've all been through, and it should work out absolutely amazing to help us be more efficient. This box is just the other side of the cross tubes that we currently have on the other side I showed you earlier. It goes straight through from one side of the body to the next. In here we decided to design this to have individual drawers to keep our stuff more organized, less time searching for materials and, and supplies, and a lot more efficient has a step for the shorter guys to get up here and uh, make sure they can safely see what they're grabbing and not waste too much time 
near the traffic side of the road. This is our newest back truck and it's going to be our best to date.